The further a society drifts from truth the more it will hate those who speak it. The most effective way to destroy people is to deny and obliterate their own understanding of their history. The people will believe what the media tells them they believe. All tyrannies rule through fraud and force, but once the fraud is exposed they must rely exclusively on force. Every record has been destroyed or falsified, every book has been rewritten, every picture has been repainted, every statue and street building has been renamed, every date has been altered. And that process is continuing day by day and minute by minute. History has stopped. Nothing exists except the endless present in which the party is always right. In a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. Free speech is my right to say what you don't want to hear. Real power is achieved when the ruling class controls the material essentials of life, granting and withholding them from the masses as if they were privileges. It's frightful that people who are so ignorant should have so much influence. The past was erased, the erasure was forgotten, the lie became the truth. A society becomes totalitarian when its structure becomes flagrantly artificial, that is, when its ruling class has lost its function but succeeds in clinging to power by force or fraud. There is no swifter route to the corruption of thought than through the corruption of language. Some ideas are so stupid that only intellectuals believe them. However much you deny the truth, the truth goes on existing. He wears a mask, and his face grows to fit it. Threats to freedom of speech, writing and action, though often trivial in isolation, are cumulative in their effect and, unless checked, lead to a general disrespect for the rights of the citizen. So much of left-wing thought is a kind of playing with fire by people who don't even know that fire is hot. War against a foreign country only happens when the moneyed classes think they are going to profit from it. That rifle hanging on the wall of the working class flat or laborer's cottage is the symbol of democracy. It is our job to see that it stays there. If you want a vision of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face, forever. True freedom is the right to say something that others don't want to hear. A generation of the unteachable is hanging upon us like a necklace of corpses. We are all capable of believing things which we know to be untrue, and then, when we are finally proved wrong, impudently twisting the facts so as to show that we were right. It's not so much staying alive, it's staying human that's important. What counts is that we don't betray each other. All rulers in all ages have tried to impose a false view of the world upon their followers. Do you begin to see, then, what kind of world we are creating? It is the exact opposite of the stupid hedonistic utopias that the old reformers imagined. A world of fear and treachery and torment, a world of trampling and being trampled upon, a world which will grow not less but more merciless as it refines itself. Progress in our world will be progress toward more pain. From the totalitarian point of view, history is something to be created rather than learned. Journalism is printing what someone else does not want printed, everything else is public relations. We know that no one ever seizes power with the intention of relinquishing it. The real test of character is how you treat someone who has no possibility of doing you any good. 
If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. We have now sunk to a depth at which restatement of the obvious is the first duty of intelligent men. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. Whoever controls the image and information of the past determines what and how future generations will think, whoever controls the information and images of the present determines how those same people will view the past. He who controls the past commands the future. He who commands the future conquers the past. Anyone who challenges the prevailing orthodoxy finds himself silenced with surprising effectiveness. A genuinely unfashionable opinion is almost never given a fair hearing. Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. The very concept of objective truth is fading out of the world. Lies will pass into history. The process, of mass media dissection, has to be conscious, or it would not be carried out with sufficient precision, but it also has to be unconscious, or it would bring with it a feeling of falsity and hence of guilt. To tell deliberate lies while genuinely believing in them, to forget any fact that has become inconvenient, and then, when it becomes necessary again, to draw it back from oblivion for just so long as it is needed, to deny the existence of objective reality and all the while to take account of the reality which one denies all this is indispensably necessary. One does not establish a dictatorship in order to safeguard a revolution, one makes a revolution in order to establish a dictatorship. At any given moment there is an orthodoxy, a body of ideas of which it is assumed that all right-thinking people will accept without question. It is not exactly forbidden to say this, that or the other, but it is not done to say it. Anyone who challenges the prevailing orthodoxy finds himself silenced with surprising effectiveness. A genuinely unfashionable opinion is almost never given a fair hearing, either in the popular press or in the highbrow periodicals. Now I will tell you the answer to my question. It is this. The party seeks power entirely for its own sake. We are not interested in the good of others, we are interested solely in power, pure power. The real division is not between conservatives and revolutionaries but between authoritarians and libertarians. Everyone believes in the atrocities of the enemy and disbelieves in those of his own side, without ever bothering to examine the evidence. Right thinking will be rewarded, wrong thinking punished. I enjoy talking to you. Your mind appeals to me. It resembles my own mind except that you happen to be insane. Apparently nothing will ever teach these people that the other 99% of the population exist. Early in life I had noticed that no event is ever correctly reported in a newspaper. Despotic governments can stand moral force till the cows come home, what they fear is physical force. The party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command. His heart sank as he thought of the enormous power arrayed against him, the ease with which any party intellectual would overthrow him in debate, the subtle arguments which he would not be able to understand, much less answer. And yet he was in the right. They were wrong and he was right. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. To see what is in front of one's nose needs a constant struggle. Double think means the power of holding two contradictory beliefs in one's mind simultaneously and accepting both of them. Totalitarianism, if not fought against, could triumph anywhere. 
power is in tearing human minds to pieces and putting them together again in new shapes of your own choosing. Politics is the choice between the lesser of two evils. The word fascism has now no meaning except in so far as it signifies something not desirable. The war is not meant to be won, it is meant to be continuous. A totalitarian state is in effect a theocracy, and its ruling caste, in order to keep its position, has to be thought of as infallible. But since, in practice, no one is infallible, it is frequently necessary to rearrange past events in order to show that this or that mistake was not made, or that this or that imaginary triumph actually happened. In our time, political speech and writing are largely the defense of the indefensible. Thus, political language has to consist largely of euphemism, question begging, and sheer cloudy vagueness. Political language is designed to make lies sound truthful and murder respectable. One must choose between God and man, and all radicals and progressives, from the mildest liberal to the most extreme anarchist, have in effect chosen man. There are some ideas so wrong that only a very intelligent person could believe in them. Freedom of the press, if it means anything at all, means the freedom to criticize and oppose. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.